Can we hit this? Welcome back to the Ear Me Out podcast. My name is Roderick Graham, but you already knew that. Or did they? Or did they? Who is this guy? Is that you, Rod? Who is this guy? I think that... Is that you, Rod? I mean, if they reference back to the whole the Eminem versus MGK beef, um, someone's like, oh, you said Eminem's beard is weird. Well, my beard is gone. That's what you get for hating on the beard, I guess. Honestly, my beard just fell off because I was so excited about the Conor McGregor versus yes. Khabib fight. Can we can we cheers to that? Can yeah, we hit that? Absolutely. Man. Cheers. That was a good one. That was a great one. Mm-mm-mm. Shout out to Keurig. Shout out, shout out to you, Keurig. You're the real MVP here. You work so hard. You take all the little things that I put in you, and you don't complain. <laughs> okay. You don't complain. But yes, yeah, so, um, we're, we're talking about the Conor McGregor versus Khabib. Nurmagadov. Nurmagadov. Ooh, did I say that? Yeah, we got it. Ooh, we got it. Nurmagadov. Let's go. But uh, we're just going to go Khabib for short, or as he likes that I call him, Khabibi. Or we can go by his nickname of the Eagle. The Eagle. You know, I don't understand why he called himself the Eagle. I mean, you beat a bear. You should be calling yourself the bear. Anyway, so he goes by the eagle. Yep. But I mean, the dude, the dude beat, what the hell? The dude beat a bear. <gasps> let's, let's, go, let's go look at this, man. Let's go look at this bear fight real quick. Here we go. Jesus. Yo, What? Okay, he's got the bear by the leg. Leg lock. Okay, okay. That's a nice leg lock. Okay. Here. Mitch, Mitch, I'm in there. Okay, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in here with the bear. I am the bear. Okay, I, I, got, I got Khabib. I got him. I'm biting him. I, is biting allowed in the UFC? Nope. Well, I'm biting him, all right? I'm biting him. My brother tries to, his brother tries to get him off of him. He's like, no, let him fight. The dad's like, let him continue. <laughs> they must, they must fight. Okay, all right. All right, I, he gets up. I shoot. I shoot for his legs again. I mean, I've been trained naturally by my mother bear. I, as this bear, I was taken away at a young age and caged to fight. Yo, he got me in a headlock? He put me to... Oh, no, no. I got you, baby. <laughs> I got you right here. I'm going to take off your shirt because you need a tan on your back. What's that? Okay, so I mean, we get we get the gist of it. Khabibi, baby. Khabib. He's 11 in that video. I don't care how old he is, but Khabibi, you went against the bear. The bear with no beard hair. You should be called the bear, not the eagle. If anything, I think they could combine the two. What would you call it? The beagle. <laughs> I like it. The beagle. A bear, the body of a bear, wings of an eagle. That's terrifying to think of. Let's not think of that. No. We're going to think about it. When you go to sleep, you're going to think about it. And Conor McGregor, who the hell do you think you are to go against Khabibi, the eagle, beagle, bear, beanie seagull? The Irish gorilla. No way. Yeah, that's, that's his, what he called himself. So that's badass. Quote, that's that's no, that's badass. And a quote: I, this, "This no, this whole show's over. He win, <laughs> Connor. You win. <laughs> you win." In well, a quote, go. in a quote, he says, "Khabib may have fought a bear, but he's never fought the Irish gorilla." Like, I I don't even know what to do with that. That's insane. He never fought the Irish gorilla. What color would the Irish gorilla be? Would it be albino? No, it'd still be a silverback for sure. Oh, yes. That's dope. I'm pretty sure he has like a gorilla tattoo. Connor, you are the master of wordplay. The sorcerer of fanatic promotions. The ender of careers. The most ambitious person that I've seen in the fighting scene. Went into the boxing ring. Not able to grapple. Not even being able to take down an individual. Got mixed up by Floyd Money Mayweather. Earned yourself a hundred mil. Great fight, by the way. Great fight, by the way. But I want to know who's going to win this fight. Can we hit this? Can, can we hit Khabib and Conor McGregor real quick? Mitch, can we hit this? Let's hit it right can now. Can we hit it? 
We're gonna hit. It's about it's about to get hit right now. So, I mean, everyone's gonna be like, well, Rod, what are you, what are you talking about? Who's gonna win the fight? That's what we wanna know. We wanna know who's gonna win, who's better, who's got the skills, who's got the power, who's got the training, who's got the know-how to make this happen. Who? Who? Connor's gonna win. Who? Who? Connor. I think Connor's gonna win. Mitch, we talked about it earlier. We both can't say the same person's gonna win. I'm gonna say Connor's gonna win. So I'll play devil's advocate and say Khabib. No, you don't have to do that. I would never have you lie to these fans. Never. Okay, okay cool. Never. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Connor is definitely going to win. That goes against my Irish to say Khabib would win. I mean, I feel like Connor has to win, so there'll be a rematch. Kind of like him and Nate Diaz. Connor won the first one, Nate won the second one. So they want to have a third fight. Yeah, to break the tiebreaker. And I think that's part of Connor's new five, uh, five fight contract they just did. Well, Nate, you're lucky you got Mitch. Because of those facts, we're going to have you come back to fight. I'm going to sign off on the paperwork, and I'm going to allow you to have one chance to be the undisputed winner here. But back to this. I just told you who's going to win the fight. Mitch just told you who's going to win the fight, and that's going to be Conor McGregor. But who's winning the fight of the pockets? Now, I don't mean your hand in your pocket. I don't mean pocket pool, baby. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the pocket, the purse, the purse. The dollars, the cheddar, the dough, the guap, the guala, the cheese, the cold hard cash, the money phone. I like the money phone. I've never heard you of like them. Before. Like I was gonna keep going. I mean, we can keep going. Yeah, but we don't got time. We're gonna yeah. make this short. Right. These guys got to get back to it. They got work. I'm on lunch, by the way. So. Yeah, yeah, you're on lunch right now. Okay, but they got work. We gotta get this. So, I mean, in terms of money, let's get up the stats. Conor McGregor. 90 um, million dollars net worth. That's crazy. And I know, I know, I know Khabib's. You, I know Khabib, BB. I know it. Khabib you. has an M, and that's one million dollars. One million dollars. I'm pretty sure that's all gone now. <laughs> like, I was like, I want to be a millionaire, but hey, once you make your first million, I'm pretty sure that's just going to be gone like in a second, dude. Yeah, as soon as you spend a dollar, you're, you're not done. You're not a millionaire anymore. You got to have a million and one dollars to be a millionaire still. Yeah, unless you're spending just a dollar. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going to... Yeah, I'm not going to spend just a dollar. What am I going to the candy store? Am I going to go... You can't even get anything for a dollar. Even a dollar menu is like tax. seven. Right? It's like, yo, I only have a dollar. But look, Conor McGregor is the better businessman. Khabib, Khabib, I just call him Khabib because it sounds cuter, right? Khabib, you have been in this game as long as Connor. You have you're undefeated, yet you have less money. And I'm not I'm not knocking you. Like everyone, different strokes for different folks. Everyone has what they 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 need, what they like, what they like, what they love, right? Mm -hmm. But I I think he's fighting Connor because it's not for just a love of the the sport. It's not to go against the beagle. He wants to be famous, whatever it is. Like he wants that stardom. Hardcore. Because he comes under the guise of, hey, I'm a good guy. I don't curse. I don't drink. I don't drink that stuff. So the opposite of Connor. Yes, he is the direct opposite of Connor. But listen, Khabib, in this movie, Scar wins. In this movie, Jafar gets the three, the three wishes from the lamp. In this movie, Rasputin gets Anastasia. Oh, good reference. You like that? Like that. You didn't think I had that? You didn't, you didn't think, I thought I had a pocket right here. I was going to say, you didn't think I had it in the pocket, did you, Mitch? No, I didn't think you had that. You know in the why? Because I didn't even have a pocket here, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, who's going to win? Who's going to win this in uh, the battle of the wallets? What's in your wallet, Khabib? Uh, Khabib, one million. Connor. 90 million. And 90 million. I don't know if that's including his clothing line that he just started. He has a clothing line? Right? Yeah, which is called August McGregor. They just okay. released their first merchandise. Do you have to be born in August to wear his clothing? Absolutely not, because I am probably going to order a shirt when I get paid. Okay, are you uh, August? February, Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius, Aquarius. Same here, January. That's all I'm giving you. Mitch, stop thinking about how old I'm telling you. You look you look a lot younger with the haircut. I told you my beard fell off. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Because I was very excited about this fight. I want to see an ass whooping. There's going to be an ass whooping no matter I what. want to see some ground and pound. I want to see Conor McGregor show this bear handler where the circus is. Because he's going to put Khabib on that little tricycle, bicycle, unicycle, whatever it is those bears ride in the circus. 
And that's what he's going to be doing. He's going to be, do, be doing circus tricks for the rest of his life after he gets destroyed by Conor McGregor. He's going to get a knockout. Knockout first round. What are the odds in Vegas? What are, what are the odds? Let's see. The over is actually on Khabib. Really? Yeah, the over is Khabib 25. The, the odds are in favor of Khabib? Yeah, it's uh, Khabib Connor, 25. Connor, Connor. Dude, Connor's the underdog and Connor, he's the villain. Go put that 90 mil. Bet it on you. Because I gave you this advice. I need you to win. Split the money with me. I mean, I think that's Dude, fair. Three way, three way split. I thought you. I thought you put your your last paycheck on uh, Khabib. Oh, was... <laughs> you're insulting my Irish heritage. <laughs> you are Irish. Yeah, it's in the beard. I see that you're claiming it now. Like the more red that comes out of that beard, the more Irish you become. Yeah, we're Support gonna have to come up with name. We're gonna come up with a name for you, like the the fire. The infamous. He's the notorious. Call me the infamous. Infamous fireball. Sure, it'll work. Flame beard. <laughs> no, we don't like that one. No, I don't like that one. Okay, I guess we don't like Flame Beard. Can we just do the infamous? The infamous. I am pretty infamous. The infamous FB. The infamous Facebook. That's all I think. No, when no, you say the infamous FB. Flame Beard. Let's do it. Cool. We're rocking. I like it. We're like it. with it. I like it. I like it a lot. But let's get back to it. Um, he has a clothing line. Khabib doesn't have a clothing line. Connor has ninety million dollars. Khabib doesn't have ninety million. He has one million. Um, he has his um, whiskey line. His whiskey line. Khabib doesn't drink. So I guess you can get like some vitamin water, alkaline, maybe seltzer water or something like that. You I gotta beat Connor first before you can get sponsors. Listen, yeah. I mean, like Khabib said. I don't need Connor. And that the UFC is going to have to pay him basically what he's worth because he doesn't need Connor. Yes, you do need Connor. That's why this fight's going on. If you look at the stats, Connor doesn't need you. He could go fight, like I said, Nate Diaz. Again. Again. For the third time. You got your chance, Nate. That's just insane. Or he could fight Mayweather again. I mean, that's going to happen again. More training and everything. And you know what? Could be this YouTube, this little YouTube stars that are coming up and having boxing matches and they made more money than your net worth. What was it? Um, uh, Jake Paul. Oh, Jake Paul and KSI. And KSI. Yeah. Jake, KSI. Jake Paul and KSI. Definitely. Yeah. That was a bigger fight than what Nate Diaz is worth. Yeah, I know. I, I you know, what? I'd like to compare the fights. I'm that when I, when this video is done and we know who's going to win, uh, Connor, I'm going to put it together, like the fights, the, just, uh, compare to f the business of the fights. I think that would be really, really cool. Can we really do that cool. for the next episode? We, I don't want to promise anything. Maybe. I'm, I'm going to under-promise and over-deliver. Sounds good. Okay. I'm going to do that. Um, but yeah, I, uh, does Khabib have any business? I, I'm just, like, I'm going to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch this fight. I might order the fight. I want to know YouTube, the fam, hit this fam. Who's going to win? Who do you think is going to win? And, and listen. Don't come on this channel and then get all mad at me because I have an opinion. If you're mad at me, roast me in the in the comments below. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Hashtag roast me. Hashtag roast me, man. I've been roasted, baby. Battle tested like Dude, Conor this is, McGregor. This stats like the people that are saying Khabib is going to win just blows my mind. I think people are just saying Khabib is going to win because they just want to stand out. They're just silly. Also, a lot of people called Connor lazy. So he's put on some weight. He 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 had he won a hundred million dollars. What do you want him to do? Of course, he took a break. Can can the man enjoy life? Raise his children. He just had his first match. His wife. What? He just had his first or kid. Sorry, first wife. wife. <laughs> Where's the second one? Right. Yeah. Can you can he be a family man? But hey, real quick, guys, if you like what's going on here, please just hit that like button and uh, Conor McGregor smash that subscribe button ground and pound that subscribe button but in, in the world of business dude i mean connor's just a man he's ambitious he knows how to talk he knows how to walk he knows how to get people angry he knows how to get the crap like he's so good he's such a good villain that you love him you have to love him you love what type of villain this guy is man you can't hate connor well you, know? you can hate connor mcgregor but not very well okay yeah, let's, let's go on this i, I want to see some of the trash talking that uh, connor does right here okay king Let's, of the trash talk too. king of the trash talk yeah you, you like that you like that bitch all right here it goes his own country man his own people that he's that he's turned his back on they want to see him gone too and i am gonna do it in the name of the russian people pause he said he's gonna do it in the name of the russian people he's gonna destroy khabib Never in the name enough. of the russians 
You know what um, the Russians remind me of? Shout out to my Russians. All my Russian mommies. Um, I have zero. Um, it reminds me of Rocky IV. Was it Dragov? What was his first name? Oh, Drago. Ivan, Drago. Ivan Drago. I, Ivan Drago. Ivan Drago. I will crush you. This is this is my Russian accent from Mother Russia. And if it's not good, guys, give me some tips. Call me up. Hit me up on the hotline. Give me some tips. I want to work on my Russian accent. It's dope. I know when the hotline bling. Yeah, it was, it was someone came, uh, came up to me with a Russian accent and said, I will break you. I wouldn't fight him. I would run away. I'd be like, wait, wait, you want to you wanna fight Mitch? You want to fight my boy Mitch? I would be terrified. No, no, Mitch, I will take off my shirt. I'll tell you to hold my cell phone. I said, Mitch, you, you don't need a fight today. If you want to get to Mitch, you got to go through me. And then he hits me with, I will break you. <laughs> I said, well, Mitch, it's been real. <laughs> it was good knowing you. <laughs> it was good knowing you. R.I.P. I obviously lost my power because my beard fell off. Um, you're not Samson. I think you're okay. No, no, that's that was my power. Oh. Yeah, I, and that, secrets out. <laughs> secrets out. Whoops. Uh, but yeah, let's continue this. Sorry about that. I'm come here for smash this guy. Smash I don't wanna me, talk. mate. I, smash I, me. I don't wanna, I yeah, don't smash talk. me. I can smash you say you. Send, your lo send location. Here he is, right here in front of you. I'm right in front of you. Here's my location, you little fool. Right in front of you. Do something about it. Do something about it. Yeah, you do nothing. Did you not see me at the outside the bus now? Did you not see me right in front of you outside the fucking bus? Did you not see me outside the bus now? Oh, no. That did, is did, the best did of not all see me. shit talk. Why, why, why was it the best shit talk, Mitch? Because Connor literally flew from Ireland to New York for that just to throw a dolly at Khabib. To throw a dolly. Yeah, with no, no, 20... that, was, that was like English. That's an English accent. To throw a dolly. You got to do Irish. It's it's the champ. I got to be angry when I'm doing the Irish accent or it doesn't come out right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Outside the fucking bus. Well, how's that? That was real good. Was it, was it really yeah. good? Ah, let's go. I showed you my hands. No weapons. The first thing I, when I showed up at that bus, I showed up my hands to let it know I come here unarmed, no weapons. You talk the big game, now I'm here. He done fucking nothing. I'll fight him. You know what would be hilarious? I'll fight him for the money. I'll fight him for the money and become a better, like I'm a better businessman than Khabib. Yeah, you already like, you don't, 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 don't give him my secrets, Mitch. But yeah, we know, we know. He sat and took a shit on that bus. He had a hot, he had and cowered behind fucking women, women and caused what happened to happen. So that's fucking that. Happy birthday, like, shit in the bus. I, I don't drink. Why don't that that part right there where he goes and offers him a drink he's promoting his whiskey brand yeah absolutely why do you think he's got a bottle of the pop, proper 12 right. shout out proper 12 by the way right right in front of it definitely him. i can drink now so i definitely want to taste that after uh, this jungle gyms will be getting it so i'll pick up a bottle okay for sure shout out to jungle gyms um but yeah look he's such a he's just a suave business guy he hands him drink uh sorry he hands him drink <laughs> i'm still in russia he hands him drink and then he says no i do not drink and then Connor says, well, why don't you drink? Why don't you fucking drink? drink. Why don't you drink? I never drink. I'll tell you some booze at parties. I never drink. You're mad backwards, no, cunt. No. You're dead drink. when you get me hands on you, do you hear me? I never You're drink. You're fucking dead. I never drink this oh, drink. shit. Ooh, I never drink this shit. Yeah, that's the first time I heard him curse a little bit. I think yeah. he said it's stupid. Ah, it's gonna be long night. Yes. He oh, Lord, shame me that. <laughs> the zoom in, the He's zoom in. He's such a showboat. Oh, Lord. Oh, that was great. That was good. Feel nothing. I know I have location. I stay on bus. Six. October. I stay on bus. Six October. Show in the bus. Why, 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 why are you doing this? We're gonna I'm fight. Really We're gonna me. fight. Six yeah, October. Yeah, 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 Sid. Yeah, yeah, Sid. I hope so. Sid. I hope Sid. so because if you pull out like you always do pull out, may who? God have mercy on your soul. Who, who and trust me on that. You, who you little pull out merchant. No, sit down. Shut We're gonna talk. What? You come with forty people and you think you look? The guy is a decorated vet in the game. The guy has his own whiskey line. And his own clothing and suit line. His clothing and suit line. Like, look at that suit. That's such a nice suit. It looks like something I have. Similar, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right? I mean, it, it, looks, it looks a little different because of my complexion and everything like that, okay? But I mean, when I, when I hear it, it's not me versus McGregor in the suit game. It's McGregor versus Khabib. And I'm going to tell you this. McGregor is destroying Khabib uh, on Saturday. Okay, Saturday night. Khabib is going down. With, by a knockout and also Khabib's going down right now 
in terms of business. Connor is the better businessman and the better fighter and the better everything, the better speaker. He is the super villain that you love to hate. I don't hate Connor though. I love to love Connor. You love to hate him, but you also hate to love him. Isn't that a song? I don't know, but I didn't, I just confused myself. And I hope I confused everybody out there too, <laughs> right? Hmm. So Mitch, I don't know. What do you think? Um, the Beagle versus the Silverback Irish Gorilla. Connor. Connor for sure. The notorious Connor McGregor. So real quick, let's get the stats up here, okay? The stats for Connor in terms of his fight history. Then we're going to get the stats for Khabib in terms of his fight history. Take a good look. And you guys be the judge. But uh, as far as I know, this isn't even a match. It's not fair. It's not fair. If you guys want to donate to Khabib to make it fair, I mean. Yeah, yeah, donate. Donate to Khabib. I'm pretty sure he has a GoFundMe. He's going to need it after getting that ass kicked. Well, no, he's going to get the money. Yeah, but are they going to pay for his medical? I'm pretty sure they got insurance for that. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. If not, I can I can get him some Advil. I got some extra. I always, I always carry a little bit of extra Advil just in case someone needs it, you know? Mm-hmm. This is that hospitality. I got an ice pack if he needs it. Oh, what? An ice pack? Mm-hmm. No, I, I need that for my, my shin splints. It's really bad from the run today. Yeah. Good workout. But yeah. Great workout. Just in case, did we hit this? We hit it. We hit it. And guys, like I said, like, hit that like button, ground and pound that Khabib subscribe button. If you like Khabib, hit subscribe. If you like Connor, hit subscribe. If you don't like either, hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. Or I will crush you. I'm so good at that. I'm so good at that. Shout out Creed too. Shout out Creed. Damn it. Yo, how do you, how do you, don't ever get me to say shout out something when I'm not ready to say it. You almost got me to say it. You almost got because I'm in a shout out. I'm in the shout out mode. Anything else, Mitch? Anything else you want to add? Um, Anything that we missed? Connor is 21 and 3 in UFC fights. And so, so, so losing really, I mean, he's already lost before. Yeah. Could be it is 26 and 0. 26 and 0. And it's going to be 26 and uno. One. 26. Give me that. Give me that. No. There we go. Khabib, 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 Khabib. It's going to be 26 and 1. Because Conor McGregor is going to come in and whoop that ass financially. Going to get that guap. Going to get that money, that cheddar, that moolah. And physically. And physically. The bets are on. It's happening. Let's get it. So I want to say thank you guys for joining us on the Ear Me Out podcast. Like I said, I'm Roderick Grant. Mitch, thank you for being here. The people love you. We like to have you on more often. But I, I want to. Oh, he does love you guys. And I just want to see who's going to win. Who's going to win this fight? Who do you think is going to win this fight? What do you think about me and what I think? I don't really care. <laughs> the people's champ, Conor McGregor. The people, I thought I was the people's champ. You were one of the people's champ, but like the people of Ireland's champ, Conor McGregor. That's, what I, was, that's what I was talking about. Like I was the people's champ of Ireland. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, this is news to me. Yeah. That must be new. I mean, brand new. I just thought of it right now. Cool. But I, I you know, I just want to, I, I just want to be the, the champ of the people, the champ of YouTube. The YouTube for the haters, the lovers, and the people that don't know which way to go. Khabib, McGregor. If you don't know, pick me. Choose Rod. And if you can't choose Rod, choose Mitch. You have options. You have cho- oh, don't you. Don't you ever. I don't got the insurance to cover flexing like that. Okay. All right? You pop out of that shirt, it rips. My, my insurance does not cover that. Oh, yeah. All right? A button breaks something. So shout out to everybody else. Uh, have a good rest of the day. I'm excited to see what happens. Hey, and, you know, and if, and if Conor McGregor doesn't win, I am going to give out a $50 Amazon gift card. And hopefully you guys use it for Audible or something to get you guys some like really good reading. Or use it for whatever you want. I don't know. Buy yourself some ice pack donated to Khabib for losing. But I want to know, like, you, you got to give me your reason, number one, for why Connor or Khabib is a better in business. Who this is going to benefit more. And who do you think is going to win? And where you and if this video comes out a little bit later, who did you... Who do you think was going to win and were you right? And you also have to subscribe and let me know you subscribe. And um, I'll do a random drawing and we're going to get that $50 Amazon gift card. Oh, my God. I, I kind of want to keep it. 
can I have it? No, it's for the people. Because I'm the people's champ, and they're excited that they got to join us on the Ear Me Out podcast. Thank you, guys. I appreciate having you here. And uh, we hit this. We hit it. Adios, people. And we'll crush you. Wait, 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 wait. One more thing. One more thing. When you were talking about the boss battle, it reminded me of like Mortal Kombat. It reminded me of like Street Fighter. So this is the boss battle. This is the boss battle. Khabib is going up the ranks and he's about to fight the boss battle. I was doing that song in Street Fighter. You know how it goes? It's like, and you know the move like that.